Okay, and here I am. Back again. Yes, I'm going to do another video where I build and test a deck of cards. And uh, as you could probably tell by the, by the title, it's going to be a type of moth deck. And this game was to be a bitch. Yes, I got a deck called Boneyard deck. I, I, I... Bitch, will you stop fucking around? About fucking time, motherfucker. This game can be a complete motherfucker at times, and I completely forgot about this deck. Like, there, there's a lot of decks in this game that I made that I actually forgot about. Okay, now this deck is going to be like a top off moth deck. Wait. Is it? Oh, wait, so what does that do again? Okay. Now this is going to be a top off moth deck. So, which. Because I'm going to use Cocoon of Revolution, Petite Moth, Larvae Moth, Great Moth, and Perfectly Ultimate Great Moth. Now, just got to type in Moth, because. Because that's the whole point of the. of this. Building a Moth deck. Oh, and Ooh, apparently I've got. I only got a perfectly ultimate great mob here. This guy was destroyed by Bowser at a graveyard. You can special summon one monst more monst. Uh, oh yeah, I'm a uh, Yeah, I should have seen that coming. Anyway, uh, as you can tell, I'm gonna build a, a type of moth deck to help me out. Because I'm kind of curious to see how this will work. To be honest. Sacred Moth. Each player can special summon a monster or monsters once per turn. Uh, yeah, the reason why I want to build a Moth deck is because I want to see if I can special summon either Great Moth or Perfectly Ultimate Great Moth. And if so, I want to see if that's a an ace card for uh, Weaver Underwood. Because... Because anybody who... Anybody who's a fan of Yu-Gi-Oh! You probably might... Re you probably might recall how... How, uh... You probably might recall how Weevil used Great Moth at Dilla's Kingdom and perfectly ultimate Great Moth doing the Battle City in the original Yu-Gi-Oh series which is called Yu-Gi-Oh Duel Monsters or YDM for short uh, depending, if anybody, uh, depending on how you want to word it as uh, uh, sight. Okay, then. How about if I, how about if I put power side? There we go. I'm adding this card because this card definitely might definitely help me out because of this idea I have. That wasn't supposed to happen, but there you go. Yeah, I'm stupid. I miss I misspelled inset. Come on, bitch. There we go. I have no chance of me editing that out, in case you're going to ask. Uh, I'm definitely going to add that. I'm also going to add 
multiplication of ants and forest. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually surprised I don't have insect barrier because that would have definitely come in handy in this in this game because and the reason why I say this was because insect barrier basically does it so that It basically does it so that you can. Uh, what it does is it basically makes it so that. So that when. Uh, for what I recall, it basically. Uh, what I recall, the card does it so, well, insect berry makes it so that your opponent cannot attack you with any insect type monster on their side of the field. Venomorphosis insect queen. I may, I may add that card to a deck at a later date. One of these things I may actually do something really unusual that that that'll be really interesting for some people in a Yu-Gi-Oh video. Uh, what else should I add? You. Uh, As you can tell, this is this is how tricky it is to try and build a deck of cards in Yu-Gi-Oh, because you have to try and you have to try and um, because you basically gotta try and and do it so that. Because you basically gotta do it so that. <laughs> right, the reason why I say this for is because. Right, the reason why I say this tricky for is because of the fact that. That uh, when you build a deck of cards, you have to make sure that. You kind of have to make sure that your opponent doesn't do something like. Now I forgot what I'm saying. Now, um, when you build a deck of cards, you gotta make sure that that you got like the right balance of cards in your deck. And if you don't, then that can literally throw off your game plan a bit. And I really wish I was joking when I say that, but I'm not. And anybody who's played Yu-Gi-Oh before, those people probably would know what I'm talking about by that. When I say that, this does fall off your game plan a bit. I'm gonna call this deck Moth Deck because that's it. that's the only deck that's the only, that's the only name I can think of to call this deck. That's hard to say. <laughs> I have it as my set deck. Okay, now let's test a, let's test this deck against Joy Wheeler. Let's see how well this deck does. Yeah, as you can tell, when when it comes to like building a deck of cards, sometimes it can take up like anywhere up to ten minutes. When it comes to building a deck of cards, and that's and that's gonna apply to any me? deck of cards. That's like a flea picking a fight with a tarantula. I thought I smelled a dung beetle. I'll show this duel in disgrace who's boss. Duel! No one messes with Joey um, Wheeler. If there's anybody out it's there who thinks that turn. building a deck Let's of cards 
I summon a monster in attack position. It's supposedly easy. I end my turn. <laughs> then our person is lying to you. My turn. Draw. I set a card face down. I set a monster face down. I set a card face down. I end my turn. Here I go. It's my turn. I draw. Let's go, baby dragon. Let's battle. All right. You asked for it. My monster's gonna attack. Parasite, parasite. Get him, baby dragon. Dragon breath. That won't help. Maybe I should have played Howling Instead face down, down defense. Card instead of, uh, the pass I end my turn. Get ready. It's my turn. Draw! I set a monster. I set a card face down. Start shields with chain. I end my turn. Here I go. I draw. Let's go, baby dragon. Let's battle. Take this. I now Joy will lose two hundred life points because the attack value of Hero of the East uh, is actually lower than how the insects defense value turn. by two hundred points. Draw from my hand. My field spell activates. It's feeding time. My monster attacks! That won't keep me down. I end my turn. Here I go. It's my turn. I draw. I set a monster face down. I end my turn. Get ready. It's my turn. Draw! Okay, I'll draw out my bitty off. Make way! I summon a monster in attack position! I, I reveal my face shield down with card! Chain to my trap off. activates! I'm also going to activate a face shield I and equip it to my bitty off as well. My trap activates! Battle! Let's see how you like this! My monster attacks! <laughs> Attack my monster! I end my turn! No one the reason why I've done this Wheeler. was because it's this way... It's my turn! Way I draw! A... It was straight from my petite and I, my I can turn. and when I draw out my it's cocoon my of turn. evolution card, it will actually help me out. I have to take cocoon of evolution of effect. Sleeve. Cocoon of evolution's effect activates. <laughs> Excellent for me, not for you. Now I switch petite moth to defense. <laughs> my monster attacks! I end my turn. No one messes with Joey Wheeler. It's my turn. I draw. I set a monster face down. I end now my turn. Now if Joey tries to attack <laughs> Petite Moth, whilst B Petite Moth is in defense, my Petite Moth's defense value... Combo. Oh... Well, my petite mouse defense value will increase by. So. Uh. uh... <laughs> I'll just decide what cards I'm playing next. In case you're gonna ask. I end my well, turn. whoever's gonna ask in the comments. Here I go. It's my turn. I draw. I set a monster face down. I end my turn. Get ready! It's my turn! 
Apparently I could special summon Great Moth if I want. But I don't want to summon Great Moth just yet. I want to wait until I could play perfectly ultimate Great Moth. My monster attacks! I end my turn! Here I go! It's my turn! I draw! I set a monster! I end my turn! Get ready! It's my turn! <laughs> Now I'm gonna special sound perfectly ultimate great morph. This is nothing you've ever faced before or will ever face again. Perfectly ultimate great morph. I'll go do a tribute summon. Tribute summon a monster. <laughs> now, sacred ball. Attacks. Sacred ball. Okay. Perfectly ultimate great moth attack. Perfect moth hurricane. Who needs to want the double dragon turn. when you got the double moth? Go. Oh, well, when I have it's the double moth on my side. I draw. From my hand, I activate a spell. That was I nothing. set a monster. I end my turn. <laughs> Draw! Battle! It's feeding time. My monster attacks! It's feeding time. I win the duel. My monster attacks your life points directly! I hate to admit it, but you got the better of me this time. <laughs> My insects have swarmed all over you. Well, okay then. That's gonna be good. Yeah, I feel bad for Joy because he just got bumped up in from from Evil Underwood. Yeah. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. As you can tell, building a deck of cards is a bit of a pain to do because you have to because you have to think of what sort of deck you want to have. Like when it comes to like like what monster types you want. It, your deck to be based on. You also got archetype, which is like a certain family of monsters that fall that fall under a certain card name, like either like monsters that have either moth in a name or, or which is known as the moth archetype, or cards that have the hero archetype. And the hero archetype is broken down into like a few different types, like of or categories I should say. You got the elemental hero, evil hero, destiny hero and vision hero if I remember correctly. You also got the the Agent Gare family which is an art type of machine type monsters that have Agent Gare in their card name. And there's also a bunch of other um, as well as some others. You're also going to have to have the white spell and trap cards to go hand in hand with the deck you built. For example, if I were to build a deck of cards that would force around elemental heroes, I'll need to have spell and trap cards that go hand in hand with the elemental hero deck. And same thing applies if the deck was Similar thing with this moth deck that I built. I have to have certain spell and track cards that will help support my my moth monsters. And that's not even a joke. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Like, give a thumbs up if you did like it. Uh, 
comment down below what your thoughts are and subscribe if you're interested in seeing more videos luckily the subscribe button is for free so you don't have to worry about paying for anything which is handy anyway until next time goodbye for now